Coco is purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing I hope you love it here Yeah, it's lovely here I hope I'm the first person you are bringing here Um, kinda I guess you've brought your wife here, Nathan. Well, there is no issue. I'm also going to be the number two very soon. How is your mom's body? I don't want to talk about them, please. Let's talk on something else like us. Did you go to the hospital for your checkup? Yes. I went and the doctor said everything is fine with the baby. Want to guess the gender of the baby? You checked the baby gender without me. Come on, that wasn't the deal. I know. But the doctor told me, and there was no way I could unhear what he said. So are you interested in knowing, or should I be quiet? I'm having a daughter, right? No, you are having a son, Nathan. We are having a son. Oh my God, that is a great news. I'm having a son. We need to drink to this. Where is the waitress? Non-alcoholic, baby. You know that I'm having our baby. Of course. I wish you can see my heart. You will see how happy and excited I feel inside my heart. I'm going to carry my own son, my own child. Have you been able to get in touch with him? No ma, but I'm sure he will soon be back. I don't know why all these stuffs are happening to us now, Gina. Why will the banks be having issues today of all days? I'm sure James will sort it all out. I really hope so. And you have no idea how happy I am that you two are together. Seeing him happy with you gives me joy. Thank you ma. I can't wait to be out of here so we can plan a wedding soon. <laughs> He hasn't proposed to me yet. I bet you he has plans on doing that very very soon. My hope is that you will not turn him down but accept him. Of course ma, I will accept it. I really love your son. I do. He loves you. You are the only woman he has brought home to me, just you. I still find that hard to believe whenever you say it. I wouldn't lie to you. Why would I do that? See, James has always been the quiet and shy type of person. He has focused on so many things that he has forgotten how to. I know you, you are both talking about me. What is it, Victor? Baby, what is happening? Baby. Yes, yes, what? What were you saying? I didn't get you. What are you thinking about, Victor? You were lost for quite a while. I'm sorry, I was, I... Tell me, what is going on in your mind? Don't even think of telling me nothing, because I will not believe you for a moment. So answer me sincerely. Um, I'm kind of caught in the middle of something, and I really don't want to be caught in between all of this. What are you caught in between? What is it? I think some people are trying to smuggle some illegal stuff into the state, Pharaoh. What kind of illegal stuff? Let's say, um, like weapons, guns, ammunition, that kind of stuff we saw in that document some months back. Does this have anything to do with my dad? Your dad? I'm just asking where you came across this information. I overheard some people talking about it in the bar and I've got the location where they want to carry out the dropout. At first, I thought it was a joke, but I don't think so, yet I'm scared. Wait, so you came across this kind of information in a bar? Are you serious or kidding? I'm very sorry, I was not meant to be there that day because the whole place was locked down by three men but they forgot to chase me out of the place so I had it all. Victor, I don't know what to say. What do you want to do? I want to tell the policemen so they can stop these goods from coming in. That is very very risky. You know right? I know but this is the right thing to do. I can't let innocent lives be killed. I can't be a part of that and feel innocent. Savior of the world, how about you use someone to send information to the police? anonymously that way no one will know who sent the message but you've got to find someone who is trustworthy on the force because most people are corrupt how about you help me out in finding someone trustworthy in the police station or military we were talking about you that's true that aside mom i've got nothing how do you mean you have got nothing the money mom i was only able to get three thousand and and uh, I went to see Chief Mom. Not again, son. Please tell me you didn't ask him for money. It was the one that sent for me. Turns out he is the one behind everything we are facing. I I don't understand. He is the one that blocked our accounts. Not just mine, but also my brother's. And and he has taken back everything. He has taken everything, Mom. The shop have been locked by some security agents. And and I I don't know. We have lost everything, Mom. Everything. They're breaking down the house we are building as, as I... No, no, no. 
Ma, please calm down. James, stop with all this stuff you're saying. No, no. Mom, calm down. Calm. Doctor! Call the doctor! Doctor nurse! Help! Help! Nathan. It's me, Judith, not Nathan. What a surprise, Salome. I thought you said you will come tomorrow. I changed my mind. There is something I want us to talk about. Okay. Please come and have your seat. What do I get for you? Some wine or... That's not what I came here for, Judith. I came to warn you to stay away from my husband. I don't understand. You heard me clearly. Judith, stay away from my husband. Stay away from Nathan. Nathan? What? Wait, Nathan is your husband. Yes, he's my husband. Didn't he tell you that he's married or he didn't? You've got to be kidding me right now. I'm not, Judith. I'm married to Nathan, but lately I've been noticing how different he has been to acting towards me and he, how he has been taking your calls. You can't be married to Nathan. Why not? I don't know, Salome. See, this stuff is just complicated right now for me. There is nothing complicated here, Judith. You're still married to Chief. So why are you here trying to ruin my own home? I didn't want to marry Chief. I don't want to hear it. I came here the other day hoping it wasn't going to be true. They are not seeing my man. But you are, Judith. How can you marry Nathan? Why can't I? Do you have any idea how I nursed him back to the stage he is now? You hurt him and I helped him back to his feet. And now you're back again to do what? I didn't know he was married to you. Now you know, and all I'm doing is begging you to leave him alone. For me, please. I need to rest my head, Salome. Please, can you leave? You are chasing me out. I just don't feel too alright. Please, I want to rest my head. I beg of you, please. I will leave. Ever value our friendship we shared. You will leave Nathan alone and not try to ruin my home. I've heard you, Salome. Then you, Judith. And please, if he comes here tonight, send him home to me. I need him. Daddy, you are still working. Yes, I'm trying to round up some stuffs. What about you? I came to see Victor. Very well. I've been meaning to ask you something. Please sit down. What's that, Dad? What do you think should be done to those who break one's trust? Take them out of the picture, Dad, or take them out of your life so they won't be able to do it. I've got snitches all around me, Veronica. I don't even know who to trust anymore. You can always trust me, Dad. I know you meant that as a joke. I am serious, Dad, and I know it's the document that's making you say something like this, but I am a trustworthy person. I never said anything about the information in the document to anyone except Victor. That's someone. The man I love, just like you and Mom. With your mom, it was different. For anyone to be a part of the family, certain things must be fulfilled. How I miss your mom. I also miss her, Dad. She was my everything, Veronica. She treated me right, and if there was only one thing your mom was always big on, it's loyalty. I know, Dad. I stayed with her most of the times while you weren't there. You would never understand me and your mom's relationship, no matter how you tried to, Veronica. You were only a child, but for snitches, they will never be treated right. They will get what they deserve. You are back to Judith's matter, I know. Regina, my daughter, how are you doing? Good evening, Ma. Evening, dear. It's been a while you came around to check on us. Is that how angry you are at us, eh? No, Ma, it's not so. I've just been really busy with work. That's why, Ma. Are you still working in the hotel or you are now somewhere else? I'm still at the hotel. Okay. Hopefully soon, you will get a better job with a big pay. Amen. Thank you, Ma. Let me call your friend for you. Look at how she's doing like she can't hurt a fly, but I know her better than that. Regina, my best came to the house to check on me today. I told you I would come, didn't I? Well, I need your help, Ada. So you didn't come to see me about my help? It's kind of a life and death situation here. James' mom is in the hospital and she needs money for them to begin the treatment. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. She's not any better. Things got worse, Ada. See, any amount you can borrow me, please do. I will give you back, please. I have about 100,000 on my account. That will go a long way, Ada. Please send it to me. How can she be married to Neta? No, no, that's not possible. I'm sure she's lying to me. Neta ne never mentioned being married to her. He never told me anything about her. He didn't mention Salome as his wife. She's lying to me. Baby, is everything okay? Why are you crying? Who is Salome to you? Excuse me. Who the hell is Salome to you? Is she your wife? Where did you hear that? Neta, stop with all the games and tell me the truth. Who is Salome to you? How did you find out about her? Wow, so she was saying the truth. You mean you are married to Salome to my bestie? You did. How can you do this thing to me? How can you marry my best friend? I had to marry her because she was there for me when you left me. Liar, how long have you two been seeing each other at my back? 
I and Simon had nothing together while we were dating. Not until we ran into each other and then became friends. You are not a good liar, Nathan. You know what? Just take care of yourself and get out of my house. You did. You did. Get out, Nathan. See, just leave already. I don't want to see you. Please allow me to explain myself. Please. I've been able to get 300,000. The money is enough. Thank you, Gina. I promise to pay it back every single time. Let's first focus on saving mom. The others will fall in place later on. Look, there is the doctor. Let me go and see him. He's walking towards us already. Mr. Johnson, I am very sorry about your mom. We tried our best. No, don't even say anything like that, doctor. Sorry, but she's gone. No, no, you're joking. You've got to be lying to me, Joker. Take me to my mom. Take me to her right now or I'll make a scene here. Take me to see my mom. James! Did you hear this stupid thing? He just came to tell me. Did you hear that? He said mom is gone. Did you hear him? He's joking, I know. I know he's joking. James, please calm down. Come and sit down first. Don't touch me. Don't you lay your hands on me. My mom is alive. I know it. I've done something stupid, Ezra. Not half as stupid as I can bet you. What did you do, Ezra? What did you do, Victor? I can't tell because if I do, I will be risking your life. I also can't tell you what I did because it meant to be a secret. I need to go underground for some months until every dies down, man. You are leaving town? Yeah, me and Vero are traveling. What did you do that you need to run away? Did you steal from Chief? I didn't steal from me. Why would I do that? Okay, since this has got nothing to do with Chief, then what happened? Don't worry, man. I'll be okay. Baby, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? I'm sorry that I cheated on you. I never mean to hurt you. Do you remember what I asked you before I accepted your proposal? I do, and I meant everything that I said to you that day. You cheated on me with her, not anyone else but Judith. I am sorry. I lost my friend at first and I wanted to end things, but she held me down with the pregnancy. You not only cheated on me, but you got her pregnant. How could you? It was a mistake, but I realized that I was doing everything for us. Liar. I swear it's Salom. She gives birth and I take the baby for you to raise as yours. <laughs> You're joking. I know one. Can you hear yourself? I swear I'm not lying. That is the real intention behind everything, Salom. Nothing more than that. I mean it sincerely. And you believe she will just give you the baby just like that? Yes. See, this is just short term. She will put to bed and that is all. You will not see her again. I swear to you. I can't have anything serious with Judith. I remember what she did to me. Left me to go and marry an old man for her family. You think I want to break my home for her, do you? I don't know. I don't like it when you are crying and you know it. Please put yourself together and trust me. That is all I'm asking from you, Salom. You don't love her. Just the baby. That's all I want from her. How are you doing, my darling? Mommy, I'm feeling a lot of pains. You will be fine. You have to be strong. You hear me? You smile. I have called Ezra. You have to see the way he was happy on the phone. He will soon be with us shortly. Okay, ma. When all this is done now, I will take you and my baby's home to go and give you a sweet bait and pound you pounded yam. Oh, honey. The nurse only gave me three minutes. See, I'll be outside waiting to hear the good news. Thank you, ma. You'll be fine, my dear. What is it, James? Did you just call me by my name, Judith? Yes, I did, and I will still do it again. Why can't you all just leave me alone to live my life as I please? Haven't you all done enough damage for me? Judith. Please, just let me be, my brother, James. I beg of you. You all should stop blowing up my line. Tell the twins as well to let me be. Mom is dead. What? What did you just say? So you can be this calm. What did you just say now? Your mother is dead, Judith. And do you want to know whose fault it is? You're lying to me, brother. Is this how low you would go? Lie on top of mom? Are you that foolish to think that I'll lie on mom being dead? Your plan isn't going to work with me. I'm not coming home. Your mom is dead, Judith. It's no longer that she gave up the ghost. I'm right here with her on the bed. She's gone. That's not possible. I still spoke to her. That was why she was begging you to come back home to save her. Brother James. All this happened because of you, Judith. Mom is gone because of you. How is this my fault? How? Dad also died because of you and now mom as well. That's not true. I saved the family. She took everything from us. As she left him, I couldn't take my money back from my bank account. But he made it impossible for me to withdraw. He sealed off my shop. I couldn't get the money, Judith. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. I hope you're happy with what you have done to us all. I have to go, brother. I need to calm my head. You want to end the call on me? Judith, I'm not done talking. I don't have anything more to say to you, brother. And I really hope mom is not dead. And that all this is just a joke. If you end this call, you'll make me do something you regret doing. 
Goodbye, brother. She ought to be here already. Why is she taking this long? Oh, Phil, pick up the call. Pick up. Um, chief, chief, what, what? What am I going to do here? How did I know where to find you? Even when you ran away from Abuja, right? I don't make the same mistakes twice. Chief, I, I what should I offer you, sir? <laughs> what do you think you can offer me, Snitch? Sending my daughter to report me to the police on the goods coming in, having them seized, and making my daughter a target. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about. I bet you know. Do you remember what I told you on loyalty in the family? I would never betray your trust, Chief. I was going to carry out the tax, but I don't know how Veronica find out and reported to the security agency. You are still sticking to this story? Well, my own job was to find you. The owners of the goods have sent these men for you. I hope they are nice to you. Chief, Chief, please wait. Chief, help, help. Where is your other baby, mom? They went to place him in the incubator. He's not strong enough. Is he going to be fine? Let's hope so, my dear. See, you don't need to worry about anything again. My eyes is turning me. I'm not feeling okay at the moment. What is wrong with you, Ada? My eyes. It's like everything around me is blurry. Nothing is clear to me. Maybe it's, all, it's the whole injection they gave you. Just rest your head and sleep first. Mommy, need a doctor, please. You don't need any doctor. Just relax and sleep. Sleep, my love. Mommy, I... my baby. He's in the incubator. You don't need to worry. He will be fine by the time you wake up. My, my, my baby. You can take the baby. The drugs worked as you said. Son, it has been done. Come Madam Rita to make the payment to you. I didn't want to have anything to do with her when I first met her. She seduced you. She gave herself to me. And I fell for her only to realize that she was planning everything all along from the start. She wanted to have me for herself even after I told her I was married. Will you never mention being married to me? I didn't want to hurt her with everything that is happening in her life. You love her, Neta. You always loved her. I don't love her. I'm just being kind to her. And her sex was just once. And next thing is that she's pregnant for me. Neta. The day I wanted to end things was the day she told me about her pregnancy. And I couldn't ask her to go for another abortion. I know about the first one. She told me about it. I remember, she swore never to do something like that again. So how was I to convince her otherwise? So I decided that I will get the baby for you. Neta. <laughs> Please just trust me this once. You are asking me that I allow you carry out your activities of sleeping with her. I won't sleep with her again if that is what you want. All this is madness. None of this makes any sense. See, I'm going to my room. And please do me a favor. Stay away from me now, please. Salom, baby. Please, I'm doing this for us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn it. Baby, come open the door. Oh my God, Jesus. Help! Help me! Somebody help! Please! Victor! Victor! Please wake up! Please say something to me! Say something to me! Baby! Baby! No! 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 Please call an ambulance! Please! He's my lover! Please call the ambulance! It's a waste of big time, Israel! I'm sorry, man! I'm truly sorry! Sorry! To sorry bring up my man to life! But this week, her up in the morgue! I know. You are right, James. I wish I have superpowers for bringing the dead back to life. I would have done that for your mom. I also wish I have such powers, but I would have preferred the power of thunder so I can strike down she wherever he is. How does such a man have all those kind of powers? Closing your shop and seizing everything? How is that possible? He's a powerful man, and that's what I was telling Victor the other day, to be careful. Yeah, I get that. I bet he'll be shocked when he hears what happened to you. My mom couldn't take the news that everything was being seized by Chief. <laughs> I was in shock myself and I was walked down home from his office. My car was taken. You are joking, right? I'm not Ezra. He took everything. Everything he has ever given to me or uh, I've used his money to buy. I can't even go to the house. Oh my. Money is talking. That's all what this is. And there's my stupid sister telling me she's going to get married and send us all an invitation including Chief. She shouldn't do that, man. You should tell her. See, because of all this, no one's gone because of her. We've lost everything because of her. And there's still a huge debt sitting out there for us. I tried. I'm tired, Ezra. I don't want to return back to poverty. I don't. Stop crying, James. You are a man. Be strong. I'm done being strong. I'm vulnerable like this. I'm tired of everything. She wants to push my hand. She wants to. Don't do anything to your sister. Please don't. I will deal with her accordingly once I'm able to set my eyes on her. I also messed up, James. My, my sons. Your sons? Prince Ezra has been found. No, not him. Ada gave birth to twins. 
Oh, congratulations, man. They are both gone. Dead. What? Yeah, one of them was really sick. He didn't survive. And the other as well. Oh my god, man. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about this.